Good morning, class. Good morning, Mr. Today's lesson will be on annotating and the different kinds of annotations, okay? So first, we're gonna review over um, the first one, underlining the major points or highlighting. And so the purpose of this is, instead of having to reread a paragraph or a page we, um, for the main, main points or the major points, we already did that by underlining or highlighting. So we, this just allows us to go back into the text and find it pretty easy. Um, the next one is circling key words or key phrases. And so we can identify the words or the phrases if they've been repeated throughout the book frequently or um, they're italicized. And when they're italicized, they can be either in a foreign language or used for em emphasis. The next one is when you don't understand something. You can just place a question mark next to that and that sort of just allows us to know that we have to go back for clarification, um, whether it be through um, a classmate, um, the teacher or the internet. And then another one is placing an exclamation point next to it. And that's when you find something really interesting or you're surprised or you are shook. Um, and we can use that for future reference. And then lastly is summarized in the margins. So that's important when we're using, uh, when we're reading longer text, just because we're gonna make our lives a bit easier and so we can summarize it at the um, margins. So if you combine all these different annotations together, um, that allows you to a um, analyze the book or whatever you're reading very well, okay? So now that we understand the basics of annotating and the different kinds of annotations, uh, we're gonna use that in um, Cedric Cisneros, The House on the Road, the last chapter, okay? Um, the chapter of the last, the name of the last chapter is Mango Says Goodbye Sometimes. And um, Alo, can you pick up where it says one day? One day I will pack my bags of books and paper. One day I will say goodbye to Mango. I am too strong for her to keep me here forever. One day I will go away. Sophie, can you pick up? Friends and neighbors will say, what happened to, S to the S Valentine? Where did she go with all those books and paper? Why did she march so far away? Great. They will not know I have gone away to come back. For the ones I left behind, for the ones who cannot. And so now that we've read the passage all together, um, does anyone want to share out some of their annotating that they did throughout the reading? Hello? Um, when this says that she will pack her bags of books and paper, like why does she need to pack that instead of other essentials like clothes or food? Great question. And Sanjay Neros is actually trying to hint to the fact that um, Esperanza is leaving her house to go to college because she decides to take um, books and papers. Um, but also, she also hints to the fact that she, um, Esperanza and Sanjay Neros themselves love reading and writing and that's why they decide to take that with themselves. Um, but when we question things and through annotating, that sort of just allows us to actually go a little, allows us to go deeper into the author's mind and thought process um, and why they decide to pick certain words. Um, anyone else? Sophia? I think we should underline the last sentence. Ooh, okay, why? Because she's referring to the family that like, they can't go. Great. Um, and see, when we're able to underline major points or something that's important, we're actually able to analyze a bit deeper. So let's go a bit deeper into that, okay? So we understand that she's leaving, right? And she's leaving those who cannot. And so she lives in a predominantly Latinx immigrant community in Chicago, correct? And so majority of them are systematically oppressed through different forms and ways. And so Sandra Cisneros is actually showing that education to herself is something very important and that, that's, that she's going to leave to go get an education at college and come back and support those, okay? And so since, as you can see, um, annotating a, is a key component to analyzing. And so I want you guys to remember to, analyze, um, to annotate for analyzation. So I came up with a chant, okay, you guys? So I'm going to pass it around and then I'm going to say it first and then we're all going to say it together, okay? You can look up for inspiration. You can look down in desperation. But you can't look side to side for any information. What? I'm shook. So I wrote it in my book. Okay, guys, you ready? Mm -hmm. Count of three, okay? One, two, three. You can look up for inspiration. You can look down in desperation. But you can't look side to side for any information. What? I'm shook, so I wrote it in my book. <laughs>